Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another lecture video for MRCS exam. Here, this is the question. It is one of the big question here you can see. So, first of all, we have to read very, very carefully and find out the key points from this question. A 24 years old man is involved in a fight and his face is cut with a knife. The wound lies immediately anterior to the tragus of the ear and extends anteriorly. The wound is surgically explored. The laceration is found to be mainly superficial. It extends slightly more deeply immediately inferior to the main trunk of the facial nerve. Breeding is observed from which of the following is most likely originated. So it is one of the long question. Now let's see the key point from this question. So first of all, a 24 years old man involved in fight and face is cut with the knife and this wound lies immediately anterior to the tragus. So this point is important. Then we can see this surgically exploded and laceration is found is mainly superficial. So it is a superficial structure and for extends slightly deep immediately inferior to the main trunk of the facial nerve so here it located close to the facial nerve but superficial to the facial nerve bleeding is observed so it is a vessel it would be a vein or it would be an artery and this structure is immediately anterior to the tragus and it is superficial and it is superficial to the facial nerve so this three point is very very important first of all it's located anterior to the tragus second all it is superficial and third one it is superficial to the facial nerve so this three point uh, will help us a lot to find out the structure cut and bleeding occur that means the, that will be a vein or a artery here the options options are external carotid artery retro mandibular vein occipital artery maxillary artery and ascending pharyngeal artery so let's see in this picture here in the first and second picture first of all let's see in the second picture and this picture we can see this is a vein and artery and this these are the terminal branches here this one this one this one this this these are the terminal branches of the facial nerve so it, structure is very close to the main trunk of the facial nerve that means the terminal part of the where the uh, terminal branches arises and here we can see there are two vessels present one artery and one vein so the source of the blood will be these two vessels so here in this picture we can see this is the facial nerve here and this facial nerve it is lateral and we can see this facial nerve and in this question they say that this is mainly superficial and immediately inferior to the main trunk of the facial nerve so here we can see these are the main trunk of the facial nerve and immediately inferior here we can see this is the immediately inferior so here the injury and here we can see first of all just below the facial nerve there is vein not artery so the source of blood from there is the vein and this vein is the retro mandibular vein so it is now clear that the retro mandibular vein the retro mandibular vein is mainly responsible for bleeding in this occasion and here it is another picture in this picture you can see this is the outer side and this is the inner side here we can see the pharynx that means this line is the midline and here the lateral side and here this is medial side and in the question they said just immediately inferior to the facial nerve tract. and here we can see this is the facial nerve and just immediately inferior that means just lateral this is first of all vein and this vein is the retro mandibular vein so the retro mandibular vein they are the source of the bleeding in this case so here we can see this is the retro mandibular vein and the retro mandibular vein it is located just inferior or medial to the main trunk of the facial nerve and it located anterior to the tragus and it is superficial so this point according to this point retromandibular bone it is responsible for this kind of bleeding thank you all